Woodworking is one of the most profitable abilities in The Sims 4, yet it's something you can easily overlook if you're new to the game. The ability is a part of the game's handiness skill, so naturally comes with lots of benefits. If you want your Sim to take a bubble bath in a wooden tub or use a toilet that somehow fits aesthetically on the back porch, look no further. You can get started in this by heading to Buy Mode Study tab, then click the easel for hobbies and skills. The woodworking table costs about $7.50 and is a bit unsightly but comes with it the ability to craft sculptures and furniture. Other than books and waiting on things to break, it is the best hands-on way to learn handiness. Use a chessboard first to get a focus moolah and you're good to go. You sometimes need plus two, so find another source of focus when you can as the act of crafting makes your sim so full of themselves they get confident instead. I don't blame them, they bash themselves in the face with hammers and nick themselves so much it must feel good to finish a project. The things your sim crafts can be used for furnishing and decoration. You start with the ability to make a couple types of small sculptures. You pay the cost up front, then the final product goes to your inventory. The sale value is based upon the quality level with Focus helping to give you better chances at an excellent item. At first, you won't make much at all, but can place the sculptures to give your sim a happy moodlet from good decorations. Good of uh, being in the eye of the beholder, of course. I do like the horse and dragon and kind of want one. Remember, this is just a part of handiness, but as you level it, you begin to unlock new furniture schematics. Wall shelves, dining and end tables, a bar stool, and bathtub. This is where it gets a bit more interesting. The higher the cost of something, the more profit can be made. Yeah, you need to stay on top of selling things if you want to live on this, but if you make the same objects, they conveniently stack and can be sold from the household inventory. A chair made for 50 simoleons can actually surpass the comfort level of a chair that you would buy for 750. It's much easier to sell a day's worth of work than say with fishing where you have to clean out your inventory of 8 kinds of fish, a violin, and 3 fruit that somehow made their way onto your hook. It's also more profitable than fishing and much more consistent. There's a good strategy for making more and more money. You work on sculptures and tables until you get the wall hearts and you'll be making enough to feed your family. When you can make dining tables, you'll be making even more, but bathtubs are where it's at. If you own Get to Work, you can make Lumberjack's Bathtub Emporium and make a killing selling them at 50% markup if you want. The money you make will be amplified by the 1500 Satisfaction Marketable Reward trait, which has a huge impact on sell values by being multiplicative with the final cost and quality level. Get to Very Focused and you'll be making the best bathtubs in Oasis Springs. That 377 investment into making a bathtub can be turned into a 2000 simoleons for a 1600 profit. Just to sell you on this even more, everything you craft takes just one hour to make for the most part, meaning woodworking can compete with high level careers and daily income as well. Money on demand is amazing and helpful. Now, it can be a bit repetitive, but there is a strong case for using this. If you own outdoor retreat, you can travel to Granite Falls and visit the camp mascot sculpture in the center of the campgrounds. Just rent a tent for one day and click the mascot to learn the schematic and go home. Now you can make what is, thank God, a miniature version of these, which are every bit as good as the tubs and sometimes better. Handiness is one of those skills like cooking that is almost always beneficial to a household. In many cases, you level handiness gradually while you level up your money maker. In this case, handiness is your money maker, so you get access to the wonderful upgrades to things like unbreakable self-cleaning and the bidet for toilets that make Sims happy every time they poo. It can be a grind, but it's a bit different as a playstyle. Due to the need to make money and the time that careers and other skills eat up, you tend to get high handiness later. In this case, you get it early and all its benefits can help you to progress in other areas. Short videos don't need much of an outro, so that's all. I'll do a more comprehensive guide to handiness someday. Thanks for your time and I hope it's helpful to the newer people out there. There are options to support us in the description. Cheers!